Well, one of the things you can do, of course, uh, in, in, if you're trying to eradicate poverty, is to um, increase the minimum wage to living wage, which is what a number of people are suggesting right now, um, which indeed might, might do the trick um, up to a point. But you have to be very, very careful about statistics. What generally is the definition that is used is that uh, you look at people being below the median income. Um, and of course, as the economy slows down, that median income may in fact come down in itself. And therefore, you know, whatever it is that you're earning, even a minimum wage may actually not be that much different to median income, or at least it might actually be less different than it was before. So there is a big, big issue about stats that we have to watch. What you really need to worry about is mainly children. Uh, what I have seen in other countries is the effect that uh, poverty in the family can have on the ability of children to survive, if you like, in an environment which provides them with no, not enough food and, and prospects. Children should be supported throughout um, uh, as long as we believe that a family income is below a certain level. And it should be done in such a way that it isn't suddenly reworked uh, because poverty for some reason looks like it may be improving because basically in relation to everything else, um, you're not as poor as you were when the economy goes down. But actually, it's the impact on children's um, behaviour at school, the ability to uh, use the knowledge that they receive through the day, the ability to stay awake. Um, in other words, being well-fed and well-looked-after is an absolute must in a civilised society.